welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad garage and today we're gonna continue working on our Lamborghini Urus build. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we made some amazing progress on the parts car and of course this car as well. We kind of just slapped that quarter panel side right there. We ended up figuring out exactly how this roof comes apart and of course the quarter panel as well. And we got them off perfectly and we're actually gonna be able to use them on this car over here. And as you guys can tell, this isn't the whole entire quarter panel right here. We got it off as one unit, which we were kind of thinking about possibly splicing it in in a few sections. But you know what, VTune came out here and he suggested to us do this right here and look at that. That's gonna be amazing. Just a hair of some body work or some body filler. And and it'll be super easy to do dude, this way, ain't dude. Ain't nothing, dude. Especially, it's all gonna be rivets, very minimal yes. welding. Dude, this is gonna fly by quick once we get it done. A bunch of panel bond as well. And here is the parts car right here, which we're actually gonna remove a couple more components. We need some structural pieces right here. And I think we're gonna swap out this like corner piece right here because on that car, it is like kind of damaged a little bit. We're still gonna actually figure out what we wanna do with that. And of course, we still gotta take, I think this piece right here because on top right there, it is actually bent. So we're gonna take those few pieces right there and then we're just gonna stay focused on getting that car back together, which that's some exciting stuff right there. But this is a lot of work. So before we actually do anything else, I think what we wanna do is actually remove this interior because we're about to be actually cutting off this roof right here right yeah we're gonna be cutting off the roof and then we're gonna be pulling frame here really soon so yes. we want to take the dash out and everything else and even the doors and just just clean it up make it easier yeah clean it up and just get everything out of the way that can get damaged possibly because you know we're gonna be throwing sparks and just like having like some sharp tools in there so we don't want to damage any of that beautiful interior because it was already kind of like rummaged through so we don't want any extra scratches yes, but sir. anyways we're not gonna waste any more time i think v-tuned is about to pull up we're gonna get straight to work and get some stuff done. the whole car dude what on <laughs> earth dude this was a genius idea by v tuned of course he worked at the lamborghini factory right three years three, three years. years so he knew exactly where the bolts were we popped everything off and this is basically the whole dash cooling system for the inside ac unit everything steering column i mean that's the best way to do it right there yep. that's how they do it at the factory exactly dude. i know we usually take out like the whole entire dash panel and then like leave the skeleton but this right here is pretty simple literally a wiring harness on this side on that side we had to remove like the, the coolant lines ac lines and also the coolant lines and that literally popped dude, out as a whole man. which is a good thing because if you hop in here dude it is completely 
really just gutted now in the front and that's the perfect what? way to work in here dude dude that looks insane right there and v-tuned already took a look at it and it, how's it look dude it's just a little bit crunched it's not as bad as i thought it was uh -huh. you can see it's just right here i figured there might be like some more crunching but going on back here but it's really just this piece right here so. wow dude that's Doesn't just seem... insane so that's the only reason why we had to remove that whole entire dash is because of this damage right here which we need to kind of like pull it somehow right here and also heat it up right yeah we're gonna probably pull it right here from the back a little bit grab it right there and it's just better to work like with the dash removed instead of trying to work around it because you don't want to damage that thing yeah exactly you that's know? like a three thousand dollar or maybe four thousand dollar dash right there so we definitely don't want any of that and now we could literally just cut, weld, grind, whatever we got to do without worrying about damaging anything. Yeah, we'll probably just throw like a, one of those blankets down. Yes. That way we like prevent all the like just scraps from falling what? on anything. Dude. But dude, we're looking great. Dude, this dude. looks insane. I want to take another look in here right quick before we get back to work. What on earth, dude? It's just like a shell. And actually, VTune was looking up, I think, the specs on Scuderia.com. And you kind of seen how these structure pieces go together because we're, we have a plan of how we're going to change that piece right there, maybe. Yeah, so we're thinking maybe just do it one piece with everything uh -huh. instead of doing it piece by piece. That's how they sell it. They sell everything piece by piece, and they make it where you can like swap certain yeah. pieces out. So you're planning on changing the inner structure pieces, well, right? That's what I'm thinking about, just doing a one piece replace because mm -hmm. we have some aluminum damage there in the back. Right there. And it would be nice to replace basically this entire area just in one go, get it welded up solid, and that's it because right so, here. So basically from this piece, which we need this corner all the way down, right here, un undo the rivets right there, and change all this right here and slap it on there and it's gonna be like oh That's what dude. I'm thinking because it's gonna be a lot easier because you can see right there, we have damage right here and up here. So that means this piece right here is a little tweak there, there. Yeah, but this is all steel over here, so there's no more rivets. So all this stuff is steel spot weld, so oh, you'll yeah, be able right. to actually, you know, drill and then weld back on, which is going to make it a little bit easier and a little bit faster. But that's our plan right now, so we're just going uh, as we go, honestly, that's right. dude. Kind of, we might even change the plan up a little bit because you're still yeah. kind of doing a little bit of research. We may even just change just maybe this piece right here because it does splice in right there as well. So we're kind of trying to learn as we go, but man, the crazy thing is, Popping that dash out, we basically got the whole entire interior room. You like, thought that we weren't gonna do none of that. <laughs> I know, honestly. V Tune's like, hey, take all that stuff out. And that's exactly what we did. I mean, it's nice though, because it, it didn't really take that long, but now you have all that space to work in there. You're not really uh, worrying about messing up the dash or that's anything true, like that. That's true, dude. Dude, you could take this and throw it in your in your classic Mustang, dude. That's probably too big. Dash, <laughs> dash swap right here, dude. That dude. Would be cool. Imagine this dash right here in a classic Mustang. But anyways, guys, that's enough of explaining. I think we're gonna get right back to work. Pops actually picked up a couple tools. We got this super heavy duty heavy duty rivet gun right big here. Big daddy riveter, dude. <laughs> big daddy riveter, dude. This thing will get the job done. We got massive rivets right here. I mean, some nice strong ones. We even got some coming in from a dealership that are even stronger for other stuff but we're ready dude we're ready to go dude let's, let's get keep it. it moving let's do it goodness guys so we just ended up pulling off this little top piece of the quarter panel right here and i gotta say that is a lot worse than i thought dude 
it's totaled. Dude. That's <laughs> why we totaled it. it. It is totaled for sure, but like, it's kind of crazy how this metal really kind of just ripped, almost like aluminum, you know? It didn't yeah, even like it just did. bend. It, it just I, ripped I think they right cheaped there. out on the metal, you know, because Trackhawk, man, it bent in half and the metal's it, not even ripped It was still up. intact, dude. So have you ever seen anything like that, dude? Not my 27 years of existence. Oh my, you're not 27, but, <laughs> but hey, that was good. Actually, you have that much experience. Exactly. You had experience before you were even born, dude. But um, from this side, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it does look bad, but from this side, you can really see where it just basically just came apart right there, which is just that is weird. It just ripped it. That's what I'm saying, dude. That is kind of weird. But you know what? I guess. Our option is like like we mentioned, change the whole side or just change this piece right here. But you're also you're also noticing a few other little dents and dings on some of the other panels, which it kind of does affect the structural rigidity. I but I wouldn't no, say structural rigidity; it's just going to affect how everything goes back together. You know, yeah, the other body panels, right? Yeah. Wow, dude. So I guess um, instead of focusing on replacing this or pulling this, maybe we should just focus on getting this roof off. What do you think? Yeah, I say we go ahead and get this roof off, and then what we can do is actually grab the measurement. You see, that's why we didn't cut that front bar off. We can grab that measurement and pull all this back in the spec and kind of start seeing how everything will line up. Yes. And then we will get a better picture, a better idea on how everything's going to go back yeah, together. Sounds good. What about that saw that we got, though, hey, from Dent Fix, dude? Dude, that thing is sick. I mean, that thing is made perfectly to take off any outer panels. It's made for the roof, but, dude, we took off the quarter panel with it as well, I dude. love how it cuts super straight, and also it doesn't, like, bounce around as much as a grinder, and it doesn't cause as much ruckus, yeah, it's dude. it's quiet, it's easy, it's simple. It's going to be, I mean, it's going to make everything a lot easier yeah, for sure. definitely going to use it on other panels, but as of right now, what we're going to do is go ahead and keep moving with this roof and hopefully we'll bring out the let's get the roof off and do the goof off The roof is finally off, dude. It's finally off, so that means we finally got both of the panels that we needed off completely off the car, and this looks crazy, dude. Oh my goodness, that sucker. I think we might just sell that thing on eBay. It's pretty dude. damaged. I know Serge from Vision was telling us not to fix it. Somebody else dude, can fix I'm it. I'm telling you, now you can tap it out from the inside and throw it on your car, do a little bit of TLC, and that's a fixable roof. 100% it is, dude. <laughs> it really is. So I don't know what we're going to do with that, but the main thing is we got this off and we could throw on, just about throw on our new roof because that side is basically ready for yeah, it, right? basically ready. We cut this off perfectly without messing up the inner of this quarter panel right here because on that side, we just cut it off. That's all that bent up stuff. That's still the bad quarter panel. You just got to pop it off. But this side is flawless, perfect cut. But, but before we can slap anything on, we're going to probably do our main frame pulls and we're going to change out some main pieces like this piece. Definitely got to get changed out. That's super easy now. We can just undrill it, swap it out. That piece got to get pulled out right there, which that's all going to happen probably the next. Yeah, that's very know? next. All this stuff is major though. Like literally removing this top piece right here, that's a major task. Removing this roof right here was pretty major because this glue, I noticed something about this glue. Even when you heat it up, it's not like the quarter panel that 
that black yeah. panel bond where it's easy to just break apart. This stuff is tough, I dude. think this is the structural adhesive right here. Super tough stuff. The heat barely even moved it. But the good thing about it is once we put the new stuff on there, it's on bolts. We're just going to bolt the roof down in its original position. Dude. It's going to glue in, and it's going to stay like dude, that. It's going to be simple. But you know what? We're going to move on to the next thing, which is some pulling, right, dude? Yeah, we need to go ahead and get that pulled out right there, get it get it measured back into place because we didn't cut it off over there just yet. Yep, that's right. Yeah, so I guess we're, you want to pull this out before you actually take it off because when you're pulling this, it's going to straighten some of this stuff out as and well, inside right? Inside right there, as you can see, there's a little bit of creatures, but it's not that bad. Dude, I say we just keep on moving, boys. We're on a roll, man. We're getting it done. Let's keep oh, yeah. let's keep it going. We're have this car together, but tonight? Tonight? What do you say? If we don't get this car done? By tomorrow, then but, we're going to be in some serious trouble. <laughs> bed in here and just take a nap inside the yours you know make a little bunk bed in here you know when they tell you to sleep on it i think we need to sleep on the <laughs> we need to sleep on this here and you slept on it and we just did a time lapse of you sleeping all night all night thinking about it rolling over 24 7 <laughs> sweating <laughs> getting the night sweats <laughs> uh, hey but that right there came out nice it did man it pulled out beautifully but you know what I think we're definitely going to call it a day, man. A lot has been done, man. I'm happy. Are you happy with what's I'm been happy. accomplished today? We pretty much, I mean, we pretty much got it to that state where now there's no, no like extra uh, nonsense going on. Yep, exactly. And we're ready to just now we just tackle need, it. Yeah, tackle it. Basically, just try to, the hardest part is going to be definitely figuring out how that disattaches down there if we decide to change that piece right there. And that's going to be a very tough one back there in that corner. Yep. But that's the toughest stuff. This right here is a piece of cake up here. Yeah, it did already crack, so definitely got to get changed. Replaced. And we have it; it's not like we have to order it. So, yeah. looks like guys, when are you gonna go grab some pillows, some blankets, make it nice and comfortable in here? And somebody's gonna sleep here. Call it a day. It ain't gonna be me. You wanna sleep here? <laughs> I'll take a nap. But anyways, guys. Um, that's gonna be it. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Alrighty guys So it is actually the next day here and instead of moving on to that Euros, We're actually gonna focus on the Porsche. That is right guys We are back on the sucker just for a little bit and VTuned actually bought his computer or brought his computer out yeah, here That is OBD computer because we have a few lights on the dash over here And we want to make sure everything is running properly and stuff like that engine light of course is on So we want to check that out, you know Just trying to see what we're working with so far before we start, you know doing anything else hey, to it The main reason why we want to clear that code is because right Right now i think it's on like some sort of limiter because of the check engine light yeah. i think it's like in lymph mode or something i think once we clear that this sucker is going to rev way up and we can hear this them turbo spool way dude, open dude. hear him sing man i'm <laughs> telling you so we're gonna see what he's got if he's even got porsche in that system do you got i got porsche. lamborghini but no porsche no porsche oh, i'm just kidding no oh no he's got porsche right there holy moly we got 11 codes 20 codes four codes make zero codes well, we got 150 I mean, codes. It was just Christmas not too long ago, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a celebration. But anyways, let's see what happens when you clear them, and hopefully it'll rev all the way up. codes for the air conditioner. Only airbag. Ew, that's what I'm talking about right there. And that airbag light's probably on because of the seatbelts. Seatbelts aren't there. Yep. We're just going to do the seatbelt delete and airbag delete. You don't really need seatbelts. It's For just... weight reduction. I know they're they're way too heavy. You know what I mean? Like it's a race car. It's a race car, exactly. You don't want all that weight holding you back. Go ahead and fire it up and see if it'll rev all the way up. Because I remember before it would barely rev up. But also some flames. It, it might shoot some flame. But also it's got a bust of fan. Yeah, it's 
it's running a little, it's running a little rich. I can hear it. It's not like, it's not like perfect running. So, um, definitely going to need a little tune. Maybe I wonder if a Cobb tune will fix this because I know Ooh. Cobb sells a tune for it. Maybe we'll turn it up, make it shoot even bigger flames. Dude, I'm <laughs> telling you, that'd be epic. Did you, are you sure you didn't throw a tune on there? I know you did something. I did a little there. bit of coating. No, that's crazy. Cause it's just, it was just like a flamethrower. Man, that's, that's epic. Imagine no cats, dude. You'd melt your bumper off. We'll have to put some, some heat. Uh, Shields on the shield. inside, outside, <laughs> all the way around. But man, that was, that was pretty epic, man. We got to get that thing done. For sure. But guys, that's going to be pretty much a wrap for today's video. We're super happy happy with the amount of progress that's getting done on this here is it's absolutely insane this sucker is pretty much completely gutted but you know what before you know it it's going to be completely put back together in style of course because we're going to get this sucker simply built as our little slogan goes we never really talk about that but you know what we started simply built and we're going to continue simply built because that's exactly what we do but also we rebuild it so we might change our slope. We do Who it knows? All. <laughs> it's built. That's what it is right there. But stay tuned, guys. Definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.